Hey guys, Chris Mitchell here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a clipping mask from items with multiple components using Adobe Illustrator. Okay, I've got my plaid dot logo right here above a background. I believe this is just a JPEG image of a uh, the brushed aluminum. And I want to make the plaid dot logo look like brushed aluminum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select both objects here. And this is a vector object. Uh, I'm going to show you a common pitfall that we have when we're doing this type of thing and how to avoid that. So I'm going to select both objects. I'm going to go ahead and click Make Clipping Mask. And it's going to give you a little warning. Notice that it didn't create the clipping mask. And that's because uh, this plaid dot logo here is actually a lot of components. So what we have to do is we have to go up to our object menu and we have to say clipping, uh, excuse me, compound path. We have to make it a compound path. Now it didn't change the appearance, but it is now treated almost as one object. And now we can go ahead and take this, select both objects, make clipping mask. It's going to give you the warning again. And then voila, you have that nice brushed aluminum effect. I can show it to you on the uh, side here. You can see that wonderful, nice brushed aluminum. And that's how you create a clipping mask for an object that has a lot of components.